Good morning. This is Manoj Kumar Jain and welcome you all in India Nivesh Commodity Research Update. We have seen a uh, volatile uh, trade in both the precious metal prices in uh, yesterday's session as uh, prices dips in early trading session yesterday and uh, test the 1460 dollar per ounce in international markets and uh, silver prices also uh, slips below 17.50 dollar per ounce at COMEX division. Even in domestic market, uh, after breaching a support level of 40,330 gold, test the lows of 40,066 and uh, silver prices also test the lows of 45,257. But during the evening session, uh, downbeat US uh, goods trade balance and uh, existing home sales data, both the precious metals recovered from their lows and uh, again gold prices test the $1,470 per ounce in international markets and uh, silver prices also uh, Breach 17.50 dollar per ounce again in international markets. U.S. goods trade balance uh, reported at uh, 68.3 billion uh, dollars against the expectation of uh, negative 64.5 billion dollars. Uh, while uh, existing home sales declined to 4.9 percent against the expectation of rise of 0.5 percent. Downbeat U.S. existing home sales number and uh, after U.S. Federal Reserve keeps interest rate unchanged. Uh, uh, pressure is seen in the dollar index uh, supports the prices of both the precious metals again. Gold prices reached uh, 40,330 odd levels in domestic market and uh, we expect the uh, positive momentum remain continue in early trading session uh, today and gold prices could extend daily towards uh, 40,500 to 40,600 levels again in domestic markets. Prices will show weakness only when it uh, slips below 40,330 odd levels in domestic market and in that case it could test the 40,100 levels again. 40,100 act as a major support for gold in domestic market. Uh, silver prices uh, trade above 45,500 odd levels in domestic market could extend really towards 45,850 to 46,000 levels again. Prices will show weakness only when it slips below 45,500 levels in domestic market and in that case it could again test the support level of 45,300 to 45,100. In crude oil prices, uh, we have seen a pressure again in uh, international as well as domestic markets uh, as the uh, US EIA reported uh, rise of 3.5 million barrel uh, in weekly inventory data against the expectation of 0.7 million barrels. Fear of Chinese coronavirus and uh, higher crude oil inventory data puts pressure on the prices again. Crude oil prices unable to uh, breach $54 per barrel in international markets and slips again. We expect the prices could again test $52 per barrel in international markets. Even in domestic market, uh, crude oil prices made a high of 3882 and unable to breach the resistance level of 3884 in yesterday's session. If prices uh, slip below 3,822 in domestic market could again approach towards 3,770 to 3,740 odd levels. Now 3,850 act as a major resistance for crude oil prices in domestic markets. Copper prices also uh, slips again in uh, yesterday's session and uh, test the lows of $5,650 per metric ton at LME. Uh, due to the fear of Chinese coronavirus and downbeat uh, US goods trade balance and uh, existing home sales numbers uh, we have seen the pressure in base metal prices uh, if the copper prices continue to trade below 5650 dollar per metric ton at lme could uh, test the 5550 dollar per metric ton odd levels in coming days now 5740 dollar act as a major resistance for copper in international markets even in domestic market prices are unable to breach Unable to sustain above uh, the resistance level of 434 and slips again. If prices continue to trade below 430 odd levels in domestic market could again test the 427, 425 odd levels at uh, MCX. 434 act as a major resistance for copper in domestic market. Nickel prices are also unable to sustain above 945 odd levels in domestic market and again profit booking is seen at higher levels. Now 9, 9.22 act as a major support for nickel in domestic market while 9.55 continue to act as a major resistance and prices are expected to remain uh, trade in this range. Either side the uh, breakout of the range will uh, give the further direction to the prices. Zinc and lead prices also slips in uh, yesterday's session. Uh, 
fear of chinese corona virus is impacting the demand of industrial metals and uh, till the situation is not revived we will continue to see uh, the pressure in base metal prices in international as well as domestic markets in agriculture commodities uh, strong volatility is seen again in uh, yesterday's session uh, however bursa malaysia kls is recovered from their lows and uh, gains are also seen in domestic market in uh, refined soy oil cpo and soya bean prices refined soy oil prices closes uh, around 860 odd levels and uh, we expect the volatility remain continue while uh, 866 874 act as a resistance for refined soy oil and 848 act as a major support in domestic market soybean prices also close above 4050 odd levels in domestic market now 4110 act as a resistance and 4000 to 3980 act as a major support for soybean in domestic market we expect the prices will move in a tight range while uh, other uh, agriculture commodities uh, shows a uh, pressure in uh, yesterday session as the uh, castor seed chana and spices complex fell again chana prices is trading around 4000 odd levels in domestic market and if the prices slips below 4000 could show further weakness in coming days 4080 act as a major resistance for chana in domestic markets while jeera prices are also trading around 14000 odd levels in domestic market and if the supports level of 14000 is breached and then we will see the further pressure in the prices and it could test 13700 odd levels in coming days 14350 act as a major resistance for jeera in domestic markets uh, for more updates on uh, commodity research keep watching indian us research update on telegram channel thank you